Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to Michael in the Morning. Today is Sunday, August 16th, 2020, and this is your second stimulus check and second stimulus package update. We have a lot of very good news to cover. So in today's video, we're first going to go over how House Speaker Nancy Pelosi came out and she spoke yesterday about the second stimulus package in a meeting. We're going to go over exactly what she said and the specific details. Next up, President Trump held a press conference late in the day on Saturday where he spoke about the second stimulus check and second stimulus package and the status of negotiations when they're planning on meeting again and what is going to happen in the meantime. And finally, we're going to go over how seven members of Congress met in private to discuss the second stimulus package. Both Democrats and Republicans are beginning negotiations in private during the August recess. So this is really great news. I'm going to go over exactly what they said in these negotiations and how a lot of progress was made. But before we get started, it would really mean a lot if you could like the video down below and subscribe to my channel if you find this content informative and so you can stay up to date on the second stimulus check, second stimulus package, and other news updates. Also, don't forget, you can get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. Let me know which stocks you got. Some people have been commenting they've gotten Apple and Facebook, so let me know which two you got and if you got the $1,400 stocks. Also, get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app. Anyways, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Saturday continued to talk on the second stimulus package and she blamed the Republicans for the stalemate in negotiations over the next relief package. In a letter to her Democratic colleagues yesterday on Saturday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that the progress on the negotiations is complicated by the complete disarray on the Republican side, as President Trump contradicts his own negotiators and his own position. She also directed her criticism to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell later in the letter. Pelosi said that Mitch McConnell and Republicans are refusing to provide funding to state and local governments, which she referred to as a significant obstacle in deliberations right now. She says that they need to have this money for state and local governments. And on the other hand, Mitch McConnell says that he does not believe we need that much funding for state and local governments. Pelosi's letter marked the three month anniversary since the House passed the HEROES Act, which is the $3 trillion stimulus package that was introduced by the House Democrats. It seems unbelievable that it's been three months since an initial second stimulus package has passed, but Congress is still delaying this and they're still taking too long. They just need to sign a bill already and get direct stimulus checks out to the people because they both agree that $1,200 checks need to be sent and they agree that they could be sent right now. So rather than keep delaying the package, they need to move along and get something passed. Later in the day on Saturday, Trump said at a press conference from his Bedminster Club in New Jersey that he would meet with Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer when the time is right. Who knows what this means, what it means when the time is right. I feel like the time is right right now. But he insisted that Americans can happily live with or without another congressional stimulus bill, despite the fact that many Americans have relied on the government assistance after the economy was upended by the pandemic. When a reporter asked the president why he has not met with the top Democratic congressional leadership yet, he responded, well, when it's right, I'll meet, but right now it's not the right time. He goes on to say that despite congressional Democrats continued insistence on blocking virus legislation in favor of their own political interests, he explains that the White House continues to evaluate all options on how they can deliver relief to American workers and keep the schools safe to help reignite the economy. Moving on, a small group of members of the House's bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus spoke with White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and they continue negotiations in private on the second stimulus package to help end the impasse and continue negotiations. Seven members of the bipartisan group who had previously met twice to try and advance negotiations were present at the discussion which took place. And this is great news because we're seeing both sides start to come back to the table, start negotiating again, even though they're on the August recess. So this is good news. According to reports, the dialogue with this group was respectful and progress was made. They said, 
we had a very productive hour-long discussion about ways to help break the logjam between the Democrats and the Republicans and get negotiators back into the room as well as help Americans in response to the virus. They said they anticipate future meetings and everything went well the other day. So this is really good news. They're starting to make more progress again. They're coming back to the table and continuing negotiations. They're talking about aspects they don't agree on, such as state and local government funding and unemployment benefits, and they also already agree on the $1,200 stimulus check. So it is good to see that both sides, both Democrats and Republicans, are starting negotiations again. And finally, Senator Bernie Sanders and Kentucky Representative Charles Booker addressed how the virus is hurting working people and families during a virtual town hall meeting yesterday on Saturday. Both of them listened to residents and how they're dealing with health and economic issues. Sanders and Booker called out Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell over the impasse of extending the $600 per week enhanced unemployment benefits. Sanders said, this is a time for a great national crisis. It is the pandemic. It is the economic meltdown and we have to address the issues going on right now. He goes on to explain that for folks in Kentucky, please let Mitch McConnell understand the realities of what is going on in your state. And they were urging Mitch McConnell to come back to the table. So right now we're seeing both sides blaming each other for not wanting to negotiate. However, the good news is, is that we did see this group of seven members of the bipartisan group come to the table the other day. And finally, after the virtual town hall meeting with Charles Booker and Bernie Sanders, Mitch McConnell responded to what they said, and he said, unfortunately, the Democrats have continued to let working families down. They're still rejecting any more relief for anyone unless they get a broad relief package. He explained how Republicans have been at the table for weeks and they've been willing to pass a stimulus package that would address the most pressing issues right now and then come back later on to debate on other aspects. He said, we just need seriousness on both sides of the table right now. So anyways, that is your Sunday, August 16th, 2020, second stimulus check and second stimulus package update. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below and get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.